Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss the midpoint. Now midpoint is also under analytical which means that the method is very similar. Number one you're going to mark your x's and y's. Number two you're going to substitute what you have into the formula and number three you're going to solve for your unknown. Now what does midpoint mean? It basically means if I give you a line any two points I give you, I am trying to find out what is the coordinate of the middle point. To do this, we're simply going to substitute into the formula and get the answer. Right. Let's say I've got the following question. The first thing we do is mark our x1, y1, x2, y2. Now remember, as I said in the previous videos, it does not matter what you choose to mark, provided that the ones are in the same group and the twos are in the same group. Now we simply substitute. So I'd have minus 7 plus 5 divided by 2 is equal to x of my midpoint, which means if I had to solve this equation, I'd have minus 2 over 2. The x of my midpoint is equal to minus 1. Now let's do the y. I have 4 plus minus 2 all over 2 is equal to the y of the midpoint. Now a plus and a minus give me a minus. So I have 4 minus 2 which is 2. 2 over 2 equals to 1. So what the y of my midpoint is equal to 1. Many times you would have seen them or you would have seen previously that they write this without these two points. Now I prefer that you learn it like this because when the questions get more challenging then you are able to do it. Right, so our coordinate would be minus 1 and 1. The reason I like to use the formulas in this form where they give you x midpoint is because sometimes the questions are slightly different. Right, if I give you this line and I tell you that b is the midpoint, immediately you know I have to use the midpoint formula. You know two formulas, the one is the distance formula and you now know the midpoint formula which is the second formula we've learned. But since I am clearly saying midpoint, you know you're going to start by writing down the formula. Now, we mark our x1 and x2. We know that the b is the midpoint. So that is not going to be our x1 and y1. So we'll mark So we've marked our x1, y1, x2, y2. Now what we do is we substitute the information we have. We have x1 is 2 plus we don't have x2. So we put our x all over 2 is equal to. We have the x midpoint. It's equal to 3. Now it's solved for x. So we're going to times by 2. So we have 2 plus x is equal to 6. x is equal to 4. Because we're taking the 2 over and subtracting. Now let's do the same for y. y1 is 5 plus y2 is 3. All over 2 is equal to the y of the midpoint. So we've got 8 over 2 which is equal to 4. So y midpoint is equal to 4. So the x value is equal to 4 and the y value is equal to 4. This is not a coordinate because they are staying at different places. The x is on C and the y is on B. Therefore, we're not going to write it down as a coordinate. We're simply going to say x is equal to this, y is equal to that. Thank you for watching.